Right, I've got some excitement today. I want to get into the mood of spring and put together some spring outfits for you and for me. But to do it, I'm using some new spring shoes. And I have got some new shoes from Vivaya, which I haven't opened yet. So I'm going to open them in front of you. So if you don't know Vivaya, and I think you do, they make each pair of shoes out of six recycled bottles that they've achieved from the ocean and then the plastic is kind of chipped and woven and then woven in with wool cotton or hemp whatever the other underlying material of the shoe is and that creates the upper of the shoe this is what i have ordered yaffa look at that color i wanted you know i'm loving pink at the moment i'm experimenting with pink and i've got quite a few neutral colored shoes from vivaya that I adore, but I thought this time I would break out of my comfort zone. Having built up my collection of neutrals, I can actually get some colour. This comes in a neutral, of course. This is Yaffa Pointed Toe Mule. But look at that detail on the front. I'm finding myself going for more elevated basics. So this is not just your plain mule. This is elevated because it's got that sort of large bow detail on it, but it doesn't rise up. So it's not huge and overpowering it's it's flat flush to the flush to the shoe isn't it has that little v on the side there looking forward to those they've got a, a nice heel that means that they're not flat like a ballet flat they're going to look so fantastic with neutral outfits aren't they or with a pop of pink on top like my pink jacket that i've got margot this is a flat square toe shoe it has neutral colors as well but i chose denim because i wanted to go i wanted a color that's going to kind of pop with say white jeans and black jeans and um but also go with that light color denim that i wear in the in the summer and the spring spongy inside and very bendable despite the fact there's six recycled plastic bottles very, very cushioned, very cushioned. And again, a tiny little heel, which means that it's not ballet flat flat, you know? It's got, inside here, it's got some cushioning in the rim as well. You can get a discount off the website on anything you're looking for. And I'm linking the ones that I have shown you today down below as well in the description. So whilst I love my neutrals, I'm also going to really enjoy wearing these and trying these out. So using my pink mules, I'm pairing this with cargo pants because cargo pants are just so on trend at the moment. And these are camouflage white t-shirt to, to finish it off because then you've not, you've got your neutral in, in your t-shirt in this look. And my bag needs to be one colour that I have got here. I'd love to have a pink bag to go with the shoes. I don't have, so I've decided to have a, use a green bag in this outfit. So as there's at least two items that have a matching color that coordinates and brings the outfit, pulls the outfit together. The other thing that's pulling it together is that when you're wearing mules and you've got bare feet, you need to have bare arms. Whether that's just a t-shirt and nothing else, or whether it's a jacket or cardigan or jumper that you've pushed your sleeves up so you're showing your bare arms. Is it okay for me to be excited about my own outfits? So here I'm wearing some jeans that are the exact match of the, of the shoes, the, the denim colour shoes. So you probably have some jeans that would actually match them totally. Um, and I've chosen a blouse that has got a denim shade in as well. So this blouse here is denim stripes with some ivory, the denim jeans, and then we've got the shoes that totally match the jeans look, totally. So then having a play with the bag and belt, I've gone for an ivory belt here and an ivory bag. So this is quite a nice spring look and cool summer. In the, in the UK, we would actually wear a look like this in the summer as well, because we, it's not always hot in the summer in the UK. But uh, yeah, spring, summer, outfit for you in denim. Another alternative would be some beige colour coloured mules. I've got here some beige mules and that would go with the belt and would go with the, the bag too. So these are the mule loafers, you know, that are quite quite popular at the moment. Jeans, white trainers and I'm going, kind of going for denim and ivory here in this look. So I've gone for a your Breton, you know, you're bound to have a Breton t-shirt. I've got an ivory jacket, which you may well have in your wardrobe and white trainers, which you've probably got in your wardrobe or tennis shoes or gym shoes, whichever you're calling them. So this is kind of a light colour theme, but it's, you know, it's warm because you've got the jacket, 
but it's light jacket so it's so so good for a spring time of year or cool summer look and um just want a bag just want a bag that will go with it and so how about again my my summer pom-pom bag here that will go really well that would go very very well but i could easily swap out the shoes for some shoes that are going to match the jeans before we leave the breton i wanted to do a really classic look for you this is just so easy isn't it you can't go wrong in jeans a breton a trench coat and some neutral colored shoes so if it's a sort of like showery, drizzly type of day, then you've got your mules, but it's a warm day. You know, you've got your mules, you've got your yeah, loafer mules, you've got your trench coat, bag, neutrals here, and your denim. You just can't go, you cannot go wrong. It's foolproof, this, foolproof. You know, you're always going to look casually classy in this. All right, cool spring day. You don't want a coat. But a jumper, you know, lightweight jumpers. This is slightly fleecy. I don't think this is available anymore. I, I got this from Amazon. It was one of the drop and I loved it. I, I should have bought several at the same time in different colours, but you just don't know, do you, when you buy something? Um, anyway, that aside. So, yeah, just a little beige jumper. I could have chosen a crew neck or a v-neck jumper, you know, a beige jumper with your jeans and some white trainers and get a bag, have a bag that matches. You probably got a, a, a bag that was going to match your jumper. So I think with browns, you've got to have really roughly the same brown, the same tone of brown. So like a tan, I don't think would go with this. So this is more mocha latte and I needed a bag that's going to be mocha latte. So I have one, this is Rebecca Minkoff and then white trainers this is a very modern casual look that actually you know like all of these we can wear and we can look up to date then um, what if it's drizzly well just shove your trench coat over the top you've got a cohesive look that again is really classy it's classic casually classy alternatively adjust swap out the shoes the trainers before shoes are going to match your jeans so yeah, my denim shoes that match my jeans perfectly, along with then I've got my bag matches my top perfectly and my trench coat over the top. So I've just basically got three colours. Well, right, so you may have a blouse where you can, it's got a bit of colour in it. So my blouse here, it's got, it's got reds and yellows and it has got, look, it's got some, it's got some blue here that's sort of a denim-y colour. So I wanted to play with you know, matching a blouse that's got pattern in and colour in it with footwear. Well, my obvious example is going to be these because I've got shoes now that match the blue in here, but I do not have yellow shoes and I don't have red shoes. I have pink shoes, but I don't think the pink's going to go with with the pink in here, but we'll try that anyway. But this, I think, is a really coordinated look because it really brings a blouse that's got some colour in it like this together with the footwear and makes a cohesive look so it is quite a good idea if you've actually got um a pair of colored shoes just to have a rummage around your blouses and see what you've got that exactly matches that pair of shoes and make yourself an outfit that way and just store it away make a note store it away for a really smart casual look that makes you just look so classically coordinated right so obviously my colored shoes are really pink that's the only color i have in other than neutrals or blue. Um, so showing you how, we've got multi colors in this top here and pink shoes just isn't gonna work. It doesn't look right, we've got too much going on. So my shoes do nef definitely need to pick out a color that's in here. So these pink shoes, lovely as they are, aren't going to work with a top that's got, you know, yellow and green and red in. It's just too much going on there, too much going on. So I have got blouse, this could work. This on the other hand, this does work because although there's a lot of color going on in this blouse, look, we've got, we've got these sort of greens and blues and so on, but we've got the right pink in here. We've got the right pink. So we now have a coordinated look using my wardrobe and my examples. 
So what I would just do now, having proven that we've got, we've got the blouse that's going to work, I'll just sort of front tuck that in a bit. And then the bag is going to have to be, what I would really like is a pink bag. Um, so my bag's going to have to be a neutral really. I think it's got to be the neutral colour again. I think it's got to be this. It's got to be this. Because this colour kind of comes into the blouse a bit. And that is using my wardrobe where I don't have a pink pink bag. I don't have a bag the colour of any of the colours in this blouse. This works. So there. That's another spring look, isn't it? That's another spring look. Also, just point out, I'm using skinny jeans, capri type jeans, which aren't all that popular at the moment. I do know a lot of you do. How much I don't like capris. You know, the ones that come off at the ankle. This is something you could do, say, with a short sleeve shirt with short capris. Um, just balloon it out a bit so you've actually got a bit more of better proportions. Because I know in Florida you love your capris, so you're not going to go away with them. You're not, you're not going to not wear them. But here's an example. On the other hand, you've got white skinny jeans in your wardrobe. It's another example for that as well, isn't it? Or you've got your straight skinny jeans, straight, straight white jeans. Any type of white jean, really. You know, with a look like this where you're showing your feet, just make sure that you are also showing a bit of skin around your wrist as well. So either go for a short sleeve blouse or blouse or you push your sleeves up. So you're balancing the skin here and the skin at your feet for your springtime coordinated look with your neutral bag and your white jeans and your colourful shirt and your shoes that coordinate. So this pink's actually quite difficult to actually come out on camera because some, some of the time this is looking like salmon on my camera. Believe me, this is a fuchsia pink and also my shoes are a fuchsia pink. Anyway, this is a perfect match. So this is a, obviously a very fashionable colour and what the, sho the shoes reflecting the colour that is very much on trend at the moment. So if you're seeing this colour in the shops, the shoe is going to match it perfectly. Anyway, pleased with this. This is white jeans, my Vint Velvet fuchsia pink blouse and my fuchsia pink shoes. I've got a zip on the on the blouse, so I've actually added a metallic, um, so just a steel metal necklace there with some a leather thong there because I didn't want to add like jewellery in the way of a chain because you've already got the zip so I left that um, so that's what I've done I just tucked in the, the top and um, yeah perfect with the shoes perfect just to talk about lipstick because if you're wearing a colour like this you can't really wear a red lipstick or a coral lipstick and you might be finding that a little bit difficult the lipstick I found that I, I like that goes with this sort of colour it's Dior's Paris and also Estee Lauder 420 Rebellious Rose. That's a Rebellious Rose and I've got that on my lips today uh, but also um, as I said Paris by, by Dior also is another one. Right an evening denim -y look with my white jeans. What I wanted to do is try some um, this sort of denim colour with white jeans and then use tan as well because I absolutely just love that colour combination you know and so I've used my pinko belt with birds on I'll link it down below for you but I love this belt because it's you know you might not be able to afford your your LV belt or your CC belt or your GG belt whatever this is so much more affordable and it's still making a statement it's, it's that Statement belt, isn't it? Statement belt. Right. Anyway, moving on. Yes. So I've used this sort of an evening -y or going outy denim shirt this time, or denim blouse with a frill down it. I've had this for years in my wardrobe, but you could play hide the shoe. I mean, spot the shoe in this. It's, it's a perfect match again. So one other thing I want to say, it may be that you have uh, foot issues and so on. And I've got, at the moment, I've got metasartles, met, 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 metasartles? issues you know with the front front of the ball of the foot and um so i'm going to show you the insole i'll put a microphone on so i can hold a shoe right i want to show you the insole so the insole is kind of shaped there so if you've got um a planter of whatever it's called you know that that might be beneficial for you but it, it but, but what happens is you can actually take that out because it's, it's removable so 
then on the shoe uh, foot side where I've got the issue I've put gel I've taken this out and put gel in so um, that is is worth knowing that you can actually take the insole out and put whatever insole you need for your feet because we all have different issues with our feet don't we so um, it's worth knowing that worth knowing that there is a uh, discount for you remember as well